General Mills has said that the taste is a little bit different from classic fruit brew. Being that neither of us was born in 1982, I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 288. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer run nonprofit dedicated to bring people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoonie. If you eat your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. Or if you prefer with milk, then you are a spooner, like our friend, Spoonie. Hello, Spoonie. Hi. Each month we post episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Halloween! Ooh, Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because you like <laughs> spooky things? I do like spooky things, and also Halloween is around the time when it switches from summer to fall, and mm. autumn is my favorite season. Yeah! Ooh. Whoa! The leaves aren't all that's falling. <laughs> Today we're going to review Fruit Brute. Cool. <laughs> Wait, I thought Fruit Brew was discontinued. Maxwell, how old is this box? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Fruit Brew was first released in 1971, along with Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Booberry, and Yummy Mummy. It was then discontinued in 1982. As your mom, I can't let you eat cereal from 1982. <laughs> no, 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 no worries, no worries. <laughs> this is a limited edition box of Fruit Brew released this month. They brought it back. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, Spoonie. I love to read and write, and you know what game is great for both? A word search! We made a special autumn word search for all my Seriously Serial fans, with tons of hidden Halloween words to find, and even a few Seriously Serial friends, too! You can download the word search from the link in the video description, then print it out. And if you're a dedicated watcher of the show, there's a bonus word hidden as well, the name of Bowler's favorite candy. If you didn't catch it, Bowler mentions it in our review of Cinna Fuego. When you print the word search, you'll notice there are two pages. The first page is the Seriously Serial Autumn Word Search, and the second page is a blank word search for you to make yourself. Choose eight words and write them on the blank lines at the bottom of the page. Then write those words, one at a time, into the word search grid. Next, decide on a bonus word, but don't write it down. Instead, write a hint to that word on the blank line that says bonus word hint. Write the bonus word, one letter at a time, into the word search grid, and then fill all remaining squares on the grid with random letters. Congratulations, you made your own word search. Fruit Brew cost $4.99 and there are 11 servings per box, so that's about 45 cents per serving. A serving of Fruit Brut is one and a third cups. It has 160 calories, 35 carbohydrates, and 11 grams of added sugar. General Mills has said that the taste is a little bit different from classic Fruit Brut. Well, being that neither of us was born in 1982, I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So the other three Halloween cereals, uh, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and uh, Booberry, my personal favorite, we reviewed the first year of CSC cereal. Our first Halloween special, so to speak, was some of the first episodes. Mm -hmm. So this, this is kind of fun. Look, I'm curious if it'll be any different. It looks about the same though, a little like ghost. It's like a little ghosty yeah. like the Booberry, but very red. Thankfully, it does not taste anything like any of the Funko Red cereals. No, actually, it's actually it has a bit of a cherry taste to it. It is supposed to be cherry flavored cereal, mm. okay. which I don't know that I've ever had a cereal that was specifically cherry flavored. Yeah, that's like berry good. or strawberry or blueberry. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, but exactly. cherry is unique. That's pretty good. Now, when we opened the box, it had a very strong cherry scent. It was definitely like an artificial cherry scent. It smelled it looked like like some sort of like cherry medicine. Tasting it though, it does not taste like it smells. At least not in milk. Kind of like the other flavors, it is a bit of a more subtle cherry flavor. But it's still like sweet, so it's still like a good dessert, yeah. I would say. 
And but it's pretty solidly cherry. Regarding the marshmallows, which I can't tell if they're supposed to be shaped like anything in particular, because in Count Chocula they're like bats, but I'm not sure how them here. I can't really tell. It's something that's like pokey on both ends. It's it like, almost looks like a pumpkin, but mm. not. Maybe like a little Frankenstein head or something? Yeah. Or like a werewolf, I guess? Maybe it's supposed to be the fruit fruit? Maybe. I don't know, they're all the same shape, but we have a variety of colors. We also mm. have a pink one. But yeah, uh, unlike a lot of like sweet cereals, uh, here I think the marshmallows actually do work, because while the cereal is sweet, work. it's not like... <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, it's not overly sweet, but here I think it works fine. They don't like go overboard with the marshmallows. I think this is honestly another good Halloween cereal, and as someone who has found that cherry flavor in particular can be a little hard to get right, just not even in cereal, just like across them many things, I think this is actually pretty good. I think for one of the first cherry cereals we've tried on the show, at least as far as I remember, this is, yeah, I think they did it. Pretty good. I would give this, I'd probably give it like a four. I a love four. this. I think this is great. I give it a five out of five. I have zero complaints. It's just another type of delicious Halloween cereal. Yeah, I made mean, all three out. <laughs> yeah. Which is interesting because it doesn't seem like it's selling very well. No, there was a lot of it, but maybe they just shipped a lot. Maybe. Oh, I think our time is up. <laughs> well, Thanks, I mean, buddy. if this sounds good, then, you know, maybe go get a little bit and <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, we're done. Okay. We're done, Spoonie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We're not big enough to be paid by YouTube, but you can still support the show over at www.seriouslyserial.org. Because this show is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments. But we love hearing from you. Go to seriouslyserial.org and click the mailbox to write to me, Spoonie, Bowler, for Chameleon, or any of us. We'll be back next week at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with our last Halloween episode. See you guys there.